people welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a product review and first impressions and that's why I'm sitting here with bare lip and with a complete full face of makeup reviewing the product that I will be reviewing today is uh, definitely one of my most favorite products but these are some of the new product launches but without any further suspense let me just tell you that let me just look at them this is what we are going to do the review on. Can you just see them? Yeah, so like. This is Pat McGrath's new Liquid Lust shades. And they are just, there are six of them. No, sorry, there are eight of them, which I will be putting on my lips and will be telling you what I feel about it. But before I do the review, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a video. Also follow me on my Instagram and Facebook channel so that you know what's going on. And with that, let's start the review. So first of all, let's talk about packaging. So this product is not brand new, but the shades are. So this was the old packaging of the liquid lipstick. So it just had a white bottle with a plastic black cap and the shade and all the details were uh, stuck by a label on the container. But new packaging is different uh, in a way that it has, you can see the shade from this two kind of peekaboo sections right here and the entire thing is just classic Pat McGrath black. So this is the difference. So let's see what the Pat McGrath website has to say about these new launches. Let's go to the website. So here's the website and so here's the website and this is the product and here's the product and this is the Liquid Lust Everything Kit. So this particular kit has everything. It's retailed at $200 and it's of course free domestic shipping for that expensive product. Let's see uh, the shades here. Okay, it has Divine Nude, Divine Rose, Nude Cabaret, Spellbound, Pink Desire, Wild Orchid, Elsin uh, 4 and Flesh 3. There are swatches of the color and yes, swatches on different skin tones. Long wear, smudge proof, transfer proof. There are a few videos of the application. And uh, let's see, it says that uh, you asked Pat Delivered, welcome back to the original Liquid Lust Legend, Liquid Lip Legend from the Pat McGrath Labs Wall. Delight in eight extraordinary luxurious color, each staring the velvet soft hydrating formulation that has been coveted since its divine debut. Turn your lips on with this ultimate and liquid matte measurements at 240 US retail value. Okay, and product features are just legendary wear matte liquid lipsticks. So this is what Pat, Mag Pat McGrath had to say about her new launch. So now time to do the most interesting part of this video is to try on the lip colors. I'm gonna start by the first color which is Divine Nude. So the Divine Nude actually is not a new color. This is Divine Nude in the old edition. So Pat McGrath already had Divine Nude, um, just repackaged it and introduced it, reintroduced it in this collection. I love liquid lipsticks. I live for liquid lipsticks because they are just so easy to apply, long wear, matte, and they don't transfer on the mask. Uh, so, and they're just easy swipe and go. Now on my skin, this looks uh, pink, but wait for them to dry because you know, once they dry, they kind of look a little bit different. I'm gonna put some foundation there. The formulation is so good. So this is Divine Nude. I don't feel that there is any difference in the formulation of this Liquid Lust liquid lipstick compared to the previous edition. They were good then, they're good now. 
they don't feel anything on lip they are so light they don't feel drying on your lip and um, just a fantastic color payoff okay moving on to the next one one thing when wearing a matte lipstick which i always say moisturize your lip you should be moisturizing your lip anyways but especially before a uh, lipstick application it is very important you do so that you know the, so that the lipstick glides what can i say i've got pigmented lips i need foundation over them because they're pigmented they're ready for the next one now i'm going to try this color called nude cabaret this just looks uh the very first swipe it just looks pretty similar to the first color that i applied but uh maybe a little bit more um like a salmon pink let's swatch them because i'm kind of so this is nude cabaret let's swipe let's watch the first lip one that i applied this is nude divine this is and this is new divine so yes there is a little bit of coral in uh, the nude cabaret versus the first one is a little bit more pink but this is how it looks it's pretty um yeah corally a little corally with a little pink mm, someone okay time to move on next i'm going to try this definitely pink liquid lipstick called divine rose let's swatch that since we are already swatching we already swatched so let's swatch so this is divine rose so you see definitely more pink yeah now lipsticks uh the funny thing about them is no matter what color you're applying they tend to look different on different skin tones so if you are my foundation shade which is mac Studio Fix, Fluid, NC35, Charlotte Tilsbury, Neutral, Light Medium, uh, Neutral 5.5, or NARS Stromboli. These are the shades uh, that are my match. If you are using these shades or are around these shades, like close by, it's kind of, this, these colors are going to look kind of like how it's looking on me right now. Okay, time for the next one. Let's wipe this one off. Mm -hmm. The next one is Spellbound. Let's swatch it. I might run out of my hand. Now this is kind of red. Kind of orange red. Kind of brick color. Let's see how it goes on. The one is really good for application. Just picks up the right amount of product and follows the shape of your lip really well yeah this is more like a red not a huge fan of this color but um this is it so these were the light more or less the lighter section now we are moving into the darker color zone so let's move on and do this this reminds me of lotus pink uh this is the pink desire a lot of pink shades so if you are a pink girl she has got you covered yeah this is a really nice spring color like you want to bring that pop oh wow this is a nice color this is a spring color for a second there i thought i'm not recording i'm like I forgot to swatch it so I'm going to just swatch it now even though the color is on my lip but hey this is how it looks this has spring written all over it this has just straight away hello spring it has written all over it it is it is beautiful to be really honest I wasn't so sure before applying it you know but the color that I can see from this peekaboo uh, sections of the can of the container but um I'm feeling it yeah totally it just brightens up your face so well probably it'll be one of my favorites the most worn ones and they are pigmented oh I, like you need just one swipe and you'll get the entire color payoff time to move on to another pink but it's more like a mauve pink let me swatch it Okay, the name of this color is Wild Orchid. So it does have a little lavender or mauve in it. 
it's beautiful yeah see it's a beautiful color let's put that on yeah this is also a very nice print color hmm. i love this color too okay time to move on to the next one i have two more and then i will let you go at this point my lips are turning a little red just by rubbing them so much also the colors have a lot of pigment also because all that wiping kind of made the surrounding of my lips look like I wasn't applying lipstick, I was more like eating them. Okay, this is Flesh 3. This looks more red to me. Let's see. I swatched it first this time. This is how it looks. And let's... Oh yeah. This reminds me of a color from MAC which was known as Carnivore. Yes, carnivorous. Yeah, kind of looks like that. It's deep red. This will be fun to take off. Let's move on to last but not the least, the showstopper. No, I'm kidding. All of them are showstoppers. But uh, the color that I was eagerly waiting to try on. Yeah, see, I was telling, I look, every time I wipe the lipsticks off, I look less like I applied them, more like I ate them. Like I was hungry and I just ate them. And this is Elson Fort. It's true red. I'm going to swatch it for y'all. It's Marilyn Monroe red. Red. So let's see this. One thing about this, um, all the Elsons, uh, is that no matter what skin tone you are, they go really well regardless. And I like a nice red. And this is Elson 4 for you. It's nice, it's red, it's rich, it's luxury, it's fantastic, it's phenomenal. So, so with that, I have reached the end of my first impressions and reviews for the Pat McGrath New Liquid Lust Lipsticks. There are some of the colors that I was absolutely in love with. Some of them were oh, not, more oh, like not my, not to my vibe really. But overall, this is a very nice uh, liquid lipsticks, soft. You will not feel them on your lips and it's long wearing and it stays and it's beautiful but definitely on the steeper side so i really hope so i hope that this video was helpful for you if you are deciding or thinking about buying this product and uh, let me know that in the comment section below if you liked this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also share definitely subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time i post a video also follow me on my instagram and facebook handle and with that this is Debbie signing off I will be back very 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 soon with yet another video until then I'll see you bye bye